Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to another episode of my Demon Souls Let's Play. Um, <clears throat> it's late night here, so I have to be uh, quieter, so I apologize if anyone has trouble hearing me. Um, this episode, there's no special intro this time. Again, too tired, but I definitely wanted to up, you know, upload another video tonight. Um, so, uh... Instead of doing what I usually do, um, I figured I should involve you guys in my process, like, especially when I'm leveling up and stuff like that and making those decisions, like, you should know what I'm doing, what I'm going for. Uh, so, let me put my stuff away and spend some souls. Oh yeah, we got plenty of spice now. We're gonna stash a lot of this. We only need to keep, like, not even 15 on hand, but, eh. Stash the bright water for now. I'm gonna keep all these noble lotuses on me depending on where we decide to go. Yeah, I wish I had more widow's lotuses. Oh, and I apologize, I think I'm coming down with something. My allergies have been killing me all day. And uh My nose is a little sniffly, so I apologize if uh, that bothers anyone. Alright, so our inventory is somewhat clear. Alright, yeah, that's about where I like to be at. I can pull do our repairs. Um, oh, I can afford some upgrade. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have any hardstone shards. I'm going to have to buy some of those. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to top off my arrows. Let's see. How are we doing with them? Because if I decide I don't really want to, but if I decide to go. Come back alive. Into 5-2 for you guys, the Valley of Defilement Swamp. I want as many arrows as I can take with me. But I really feel like I'm going to die a lot there, because it's still one of the hardest levels in Demon Souls for me. There's a lot of tough enemies there. Um, you know, a lot of giant depraved ones. Uh, in packs, you know, like up to packs of four. Uh, what else? Black Phantoms that are pretty tough. Uh, oh yeah, a swamp where you're constantly getting poisoned and, you know, tiny little bits of land. Uh, so I'm thinking we're going to head to Latria first and do, do this level swamp. And get ourselves, get our hands on the Ring of Avarice. Alright, so let's talk to the Maiden. Well, we've long been Not you, Patches, dang it. Well, while we're talking to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can almost afford two levels. Definitely uh, crush some souls in this cause. Alright, I'm going to use them all. <laughs> there we go. Uh, again, the safe side. Alright, um, with two vitality levels. Best idea here. You always use more endurance, more stamina, more strength. Uh, pump up my magic would help too. Like, pump it up any of these. I think since I want to go for some heavier weapons though, I would want to pump up my strength, but I want to pump up my endurance and vitality first. I want some more health. Health's really, health's really important, guys. I think we should aim to get it up to like between 20 and 30. Like I'll, I'll be happy with 20 for now once we get up to that point. But like I'd like to get it at 30 so I can have like a nice thousand HP in soul form. I mean in uh, uh, human form. Okay, so 
before we move out to this place, let me just go over my gear quick. Uh, who is it that sold heavy arrows? Is it Patches or Grave Robber Blige? Ah, it's Platches. Alright. Um, I'd like to stop those off too, because those are my better arrows. I think you guys would agree that's probably a wise decision. Since we spent a lot of those uh, last time. Not pointing any fingers, not blaming anybody. Alright, 60 should be good, I think. Uh, yeah, because I'm getting close to over encumbered. Okay. Latria. Defilement. Uh, Latria for now. We'll see how Latria goes. I think I read that Archstone to you guys before. Let's double check though to make sure. I think I did, yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is the creepy bloodborne looking place, so hopefully you're not too disappointed I didn't go to that dreary swamp. And I went to this deliciously unsettling place instead. Now full disclosure, I'm gonna do this level for this bit, but um I'm not sure if I'm gonna take on the man eaters just yet. Those guys are some tough mofos. Um, so I might save that for the you know a future part, maybe the next part, but definitely not the this part. But I will definitely open the level all the way up to them, so you guys will be able to see most of the secrets in this level that's not tied to world tendency. And I just want to say for the record too, that's what I've been showing you guys so far in every area is like every secret you can just about possibly get except stuff tied to World Tendency, but I will be showing you that too in the future, I promise. This is going to be a full Let's Play. Oh, my protection. On oh yeah, the bows is going to be handy for these gargoyles, especially when they don't want to, especially when they don't want to get close to you. For the record though, these guys are pretty weak to fire, so my sword will pay off here. They're not as weak to magic. Nice, I was able to two-shot them. I can hear that giant heart beating, that giant demon heart that's eating all those souls and turning, you know, men into demons. That's what's making all the demons here. Oh, show. Sure. Uh, let's go sneaky. I don't want this guy to notice us as I uh, snipe him to death. Oop, too close though. Hopefully I can still do some good damage from this far away. It's hard to see that I'm aiming at him though, being cloaked. Oh crap, I keep trying to change my ammo. Yeah, regular arrows aren't too good, but they are stone gargoyles, so it kind of makes sense. My sword, on the other hand, very satisfactory. We're just gonna see how it does. Well, we know it does good on the squid faces. We're just gonna see how it does on these other guys, like these kind of man centipedes. You'll see. You'll see. They're creepy bugs. Oh, you guys probably want to see this heart, huh? I feel a beating through my controller. It's creepy. It's just like the Dragon God's breath. Got all these ropes tying it to like supports, and it's holding on to whatever it can grab with its little heart hands, its little heart tendril hands. And, and there's also these two big chains helping hold up the heart, which uh, we're gonna sabotage because you know that's what heroes do. They do whatever they can to stop demons, even become demons to fight demons if they have to. You know, just like that uh, that old quote, he who gazes long into the abyss knows that the abyss also gazes back into him. 
think I might paraphrase it a little, but you guys got the gist of it. Basically, when you fight monsters, you might become a monster. Damn, I can almost one-shot him. I'd love to see the uh, Dragon Claymore plus four, but... <laughs> I'm sure to think about farming the, all those bear bugs to try to get to that point. You're like pulling teeth. Alright, so there's a crossbow gargoyle over here. These are sneaky fucks, so you wanna definitely sneak up on them. Because their magical bow, their magical uh, crossbows and bolts hurt. And the nice thing about the gargoyles is they all seem to drop like these unknown warrior hero souls, so they're a good source of them. You kill enough of them and then you go back to the Nexus, you'll check your inventory and be like, wow, I got like, you know, you end up having like a hundred of the souls between the, you know, the two types. Sometimes it's just nice to chew the scenery though. I know, I know this takes my videos take longer, but well, hopefully that's one of the things you're you actually come to these videos to watch them for, you know, it's like the reason that I take the time and enjoy the visuals, you know, instead of just rushing through everything. I mean, that's what Mizuaki would have intended. This was his first baby. His first creation. And it will always hold a uh, tender spot in my heart. Speaking of hearts, we can't get through here yet till we uh, loosen this big boy up. So let's go do that. Oh no, I just thought about something. I did promise to show you guys all the secrets here. Showing you this one secret may involve a ton of chain deaths on my part, so I'm not too eager to show you that. But maybe I should just show you it now and get it over with while it's still pretty early, pretty early in the vid. Oh, by the way, I just want to show you guys right now. The final boss is up in that tower there. That's where the old monk lives. But you get to go all the way to the top of the spire here, defeat the man-eaters, which are pretty much his guardian pets, and then you go, you go all the way to the top of that tower and fight him. So we'll get there eventually, guys. Look forward to it. We're here now. Just think we started all the way at the bottom there down in the prison. And we'll eventually we'll get up there and slay the big bad and open up that fog wall blocking us in Politeria. Alright. Enough riling everybody up. Enough rallying the troops. Let's go to war against these demons. Speaking of, uh, every hero that we pretty much came across so far, living or dead, you know, speaking of the corpses or, like, say, Trake or, you know, Ostrava. Well, not Ostrava. Ostrava's, you know, an exception to this. Uh, say, Trake or, um, who else have you guys met? Uh, let me think. Um, uh, Grave Robber Blige. Like, they, they all came to this land to help fight the demons, you know? They didn't, they weren't here in Bullets area, you know? A flood of heroes came in from foreign lands, like uh, uh, the Maiden Australia, and her uh, Night Girl Vinland, um, Lord Riddell, who's also captured here, Sage Frake, Saint Urbane, uh, Patches, uh, what's his name, Yurt, the Silent Chieftain, who's also here. Actually, we'll be running into him soon if I don't die. Um, and like the list goes on, it's like there's a ton of heroes, like. A bunch of them are still alive. They're still here to fight demons. And the heart, little heart tendrils are blocking our way here. So we can't go any further until we... Well, we can't go any further up this tower. Until we uh, take care of the heart. Here's one of the chains. Let me give you guys a better look at it. See, it follows along there. Past that gargoyle up into that tower there. So that's where we get ahead. Oh, 
was afraid that wasn't gonna two shot him because the first the first hit hit him so weak. Okay, let's deal with this crossbow gargoyle. Oh nice, I still hit him. Yeah, it killed him. That was him. I just wasn't sure at first. Okay, so yeah, just be careful crossing over here. There's some loot over here. It's another great sword. The Flamberg. Or Flamberge, however you pronounce it. Flamberg A. I just call it the Flamberg. I think the E on the end is silent. Ah, sorry, I'm just having a drink of my uh, Starbucks double shot espresso. Gonna have that gaming fuel. Alright, so I am gonna show you the guys that secret. My death be damned in human form. Oh wells. But first I like to clear these gargoyles. Just so I can, you know, focus on the secret in peace. Not having to worry about some gargoyles sneaking up on me. Some gargoyles thinking he's bad stepping up, you know what I'm saying? Like this guy, who do you think you are, boy? This fog looks creepy as hell though, huh? But we're not going this way just yet. Alright guys, do you remember Ostrava's sword and shield? The rune sword and shield? And I may have mentioned to you at the time, like you can get it later. Well, you see that loot over there on that ledge? That little blue glow? That's it. We have to try to make it down to that ledge without falling to our death, which is much, 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 much easier said than done. As I hope this blood stain indicates. Now the last time I tried this on my other character that I made, the mage, I died about ten times, so hopefully we get a first shot, guys. Cross your fingers. Um, let me make sure I'm kind of prepared for this. I really wish I wasn't in human form, but uh, uh, better just to line things up and get it over with, right? Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, first try, yes! Oh, I'm so glad I didn't die. Uh, that deserves a little emote. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> my message. Green sword and shield. Sent to the stash, though, damn. Well, it does magic damage, which isn't that super useful here. Like, flame damage is better. For the most part, I think. No, don't listen to this guy. This guy that guy's a dick. Actually, you know what? To prove he's a dick, I'm going to foul his message. Alright, so you guys may be wondering, how the hell do you get down from here? Well, just jump back down to the little part we went out to earlier. That was blocked off by the heart here. And now we're back on our way back up, and on with the mission. That wasn't even much of a detour to show you guys one of the best secrets in the level. Because that is an awesome weapon set. That sword does a tiny bit of physical damage, but it does a ton of magic damage. The shield blocks a really good amount of magic damage. Well, it has a lot of magic damage reduction, you know, so you, if you're blocking magic attacks with it, like, for this level, like, that shield, I'd be better off using that shield. But, ah yeah, wells. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's not all. Both items boost your mag magic defense just like that ring here. The very your magical dullness, all three stacks, so you can, like, be almost impervious to spells with the right build. It's pretty nasty. So, yeah, those are a good pickup for the right build. And really useful for the new game. I don't think the sword has stat scaling, so it kind of weakens after, like, new game plus. Which, speaking of, uh, pardon me, I'll take a sip of water first, my throat's a little dry. Um, let's talk about New Game Plus right now. 
since that's something I have not addressed yet. If you've never played the Souls games before, um, and you clear them for the first time, well, anytime, anytime you clear a Souls game, you enter what's called New Game Plus, which lets you play the whole game all over again, you know, beat everything all over again, open all the chests, fight all the bosses, do, you know, everything, blah, blah, blah. You get to keep all your stuff from the previous playthrough, all your levels, except for, like, key items. And, uh, you can keep going on and on, like, up to New Game Plus, like, 7, and, you know, it just keeps ramping up in, you know, difficulty, and you keep gaining levels, and, uh, you get more souls from kills, and, like, it's pretty cool, so, these games have a lot of replayability. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, the word on New Game Plus. When you beat the final boss, you're given an option to enter New Game Plus. You can hold off on entering New Game Plus until you're ready. And everyone who plays these games always recommends, like, a to-do list of what you want to get in each playthrough before you head on to the New Game Plus, because there's certain items, you know, like that are super rare and you can only get a few of them in the entire playthrough. Sometimes only one of that item. Like the colorless demon souls, like if you want to get as close to all ten as possible before you finish your first playthrough. Now I know I said to do everything as blind as possible, but for those I recommend looking up. And you should also probably look up or at least look into what weapon type you want to use. It's, it's definitely worth trying all weapon types out at first, but uh, I was going to offer some advice, you know, along the lines of find a type that you like, stick with it, and try to upgrade, just like, focus on like one weapon. Like, focus, like of each type, I should say. Focus on upgrading like one item of each type, so one bow, one shield, one weapon. You know, don't have to worry about upgrading talismans and those, but uh, for that other stuff, yeah, try to, since, like, you have to do a lot of farming at Demon Souls if you want to upgrade a lot of weapons, you know, because each, each, each weapon, you know, costs so many uh, materials, like, at each upgrade level, so it's not really worth it. You're, you're better off focusing on, like, one or two weapons, like, oh, crap, right? I wanted to get off there. There's some loot down there. I'll show you guys. That's okay. Let's clear this gargi first. This gargoyle. Alright, he wants me to... Oh, I thought he wanted me to slam when he changed his mind. Ah. I was hoping I would hit him. This thing does have some pretty good range. Oh sure, right when I switch to the bow, he comes down. Ooh, I was afraid that was an invader for a second. <laughs> oh, there's our elevator. Alright, so... You were talking about weapon upgrades, right? Yeah, so... Just how, like, I, I decided I was going to go with the Bastard Sword at first, and then I upgraded that to, like, plus seven. Then I decided I wanted to branch out, like, like that, that weapon's, like, my normal damage, and magic damage weapon. This one's my fire damage weapon, so I branched out into this damage path to, like, you know, kind of cover all enemy weaknesses so I'm strong against all types. And, uh, as you can see, that's, you know, a pretty good strategy, and it generally pays off pretty well. You don't, you don't really see me struggling too much. I'm not going to jinx myself with that statement, but, you know, just saying in general. Except for a few, few key videos, which I'm sure any of you who's, you know, seen them knows what I'm talking about. Alright, so these guys are kind of like that guy in the last video, the doll demon. Like, they're kind of casting the same kind of like evil demon magic. And this is the magic that's uh, keeping this chain holding the giant demon heart up. So... As soon as we take care of these fucks, that chain ain't going to be held up anymore. So let's accomplish that mission right now. Cutscene time.
Alright, so... We're, we're like barely halfway through the level here at like the 25 minute point, so... Now would probably be a good time to decide if I want to split this video into two parts, because it's... I'm going to be frank with you guys. Clearing this whole level is probably going to take an hour. And that's uh, assuming that it goes, you know, fairly well. You know, and I don't get a lot of deaths, which hopefully I don't. Um, yeah, let's, uh, well, actually, yeah, let's worry about that for a second, just for a second. Like, if you prefer these longer videos, like the adju uh, uh, Part 9 Adjudicator one that are almost an hour, you know, let me know. And if you rat if you prefer the shorter ones that are around a half hour, you know, again, let me know. And I will try to... Try to, try to cater to what the majority prefers. Man, I just love the scenery, though. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully you guys spot these shiny stones ahead. I know I barely glanced at them just so that you wouldn't, you know, until I was upon them. But they, uh, they're here for a purpose. They want to attract you over this way. Because just an FYI, all those open cages up there, we could have hopped into any one of them. But now that we're over here... Let's go see. You're the silent chief. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. He seems like a trustworthy fellow. I should definitely let him out of the cell and he won't murder me the first chance he gets. Uh Sure, why not? <clears throat> no, actually, ladies and gentlemen, I have an ulterior motive myself. I'm planning to murder him, but not yet. Not yet. Because I want that gloom armor set. It's gloomy, and I love it. Gloomy and groovy. Alright, you're. so what's going on? Well, if we're best if we're best bros already, we should uh, take a photo op together. All right, you're 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 making me rush here, man. You're making me rush. All right, no, it still works out, right? Yeah, look, and he's looking at me and everything, and I'm kind of looking at him. We're just you know, bros taking a walk around, freshly murdered corpses. I probably died trying to lock this villain up. When he's wearing all black armor and it's got like demon spikes on the top, does it? I mean, doesn't this in his voice? I mean, hopefully this screams bad guy to you guys, but if not, like we'll just we'll continue letting pl things play out as they do. And I won't say any more. We'll just ride this cage down to the swamp and say bye bye to Mister Yurt, the Silent Chief. We we will probably see him again in the Nexus. Although I will let you guys decide, or, you know, if you know yourselves, then that's good too, whether it's a good or bad thing. Now, most of the enemies I've liked, like, uh, you know, their PS5 versions, these little man centipedes, especially the babies, are the one exception. These screaming bastards never shut up. So we're gonna try to put them out of their misery. Ooh, he's creepy looking, huh? Ah, good thing fire F's him up, and I think I just wasted some age spice, yeah. I get that's been a long time coming, equipping that fresh place. Should have did it a long time ago. You know, where are these damn babies? Creepy little ass goblins. Ooh, he dropped some loot. Mercury stone. That's probably what turned him into that. 
I hear another one squawking over there, but let's let's see what's up here. Got to use protection. Oh, the lovers. These two are always making out. They've been doing it for years. See the tongue action going on? They may also be feasting on that guy's corpse together, too. So, uh, we could leave him alone, or we could decide we want the loot for ourselves. And turn this into a tragedy. A tragedy the likes of Romeo and Juliet, all for, uh, Plague Resistance Ring. Although, I am going to be really pleased they have this ring when we go back to the filthy world. Alright, lovers, I'm sorry I broke you up. Well, I just heard a really creepy scream off that direction. I don't know if anyone else was able to hear that. Maybe if you have headphones on while you're listening. Alright, we are going to hunt down that baby and shut him up. That is our mission down in the swamp. Let's deal with all these squawking little bastards. And their mean mama and daddies. It's okay, little baby. Come here. Come here. I've got your medicine for you. Ooh, this is a big baby here. I'm glad I one shot them. Oh, there's another one. Hopefully, it's the last one for a while. Or at all. That'd be nice. See how much quieter that is? Isn't that much better? That's like a relief to the ears. Alright, so now that we're in the swamp, let's get the swamp loots. And one of the nice swamp loots is the fragrant ring. I think it might be over here by this thing, which you guys know how much I know how much I hate these things. <laughs> I really hate these things. You know, we're gonna safely snipe them. Uh, actually, we might want to remove the word safe from the equation. Nothing about taking this dude on the safe. Maybe we can try to get close to him and he won't use that attack. Okay, getting close to him. Not working out too great so far. Yeah, I don't want to take a hit for every time I get a hit. I don't like battles of attrition like that generally. Ooh, but I do almost have them. But yeah, I don't want to waste the grass. We'll take him down from range. Yeah, I decided to risk it. Let's see if I was quicker in the draw than I was. Fortunately for us. Man, lots of mercury stone. I mean, if you like poison weapons, this world is your, like, nirvana. Yeah. I swore the free ring was around here, though. <laughs> I'm a noob. We don't really need to equip it, though, like... That's more for magicians or people who are interested in being magicians. Well, I should specify at the very least, planning to cast offensive spells. If you're just casting the occasional buff, you know, who cares if you blow a spice here and there? I was, <laughs> I was slightly worried that baby was alive for a second. Alright, now... I think we looted the entire area. So now we 
Okay, that wasn't the way up. That tricked me. Ooh. Alright, I redeemed myself. And now we get to grab that loot I was looking at. Ah, another stone of ephemeral eyes. There's a creepy scream again. Ah, uh, more babies. Well, the silence was nice while it lasted. Now, oh, one second, I'm gonna take another sword of water. And, uh. There's a lot of mamas and papas up here, so, uh, I wanna recast my protection buff, because I may get hit. Nice thing with these guys. Pardon me one second. Let me finish my food before talking. Uh, yeah, so the nice thing with these guys is when you do enough damage to them, like over half their health bar, they, they stop what they're doing for a couple seconds and they split in half and lose their tails. And they continue on as like this little, you know, head, head piece. And uh, the nice thing about that is it gives you the opportunity to quickly finish them off. So while they're split like that, just, you know, give them the final blow. Right, what do we get here? Oh, some dark moon grass we couldn't pick up because we're over encumbered already. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a gecko ahead. And you guys know how I like to roll by now when geckos are on the line. Although my life will be on the line first, so I may decide to switch back to my armor. We'll see. Depends if this guy is a black phantom or not. He's a black phantom. I don't know what that grave robber's rank. So the Black Phantom versions of normal enemies hit way harder. I, I, I don't know why I'm whispering like he's going to hear me. Uh, although I do kind of have to you know, be quieter, like I said. Uh, so what was I putting on? Oh yeah, the Grave Robbers. Okay, now let's try and sneak up on this bastard. Before he turns back around, huh? Oh, too late, too late, too late, too late, too late. Retreat, retreat. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, maybe we should just try to snipe him from a distance. Oops. Okay, that's not that. That's not far enough from a distance. Oh, that almost one shot at me. I'm scared, I'm scared. Yeah, well, that magic resistance, too. Yeah, maybe my armor will help. Oh, I should probably should have cast protection. What was I thinking? I need it. I need it. All right, let's try to ambush him while he's turned. Ah, uh, every time. Oh, I might get him in time. Yes. To uh, being stealthy from the gecko, though. The gecko's right around the corner, pretty much. Right by that other, other one. I'm gonna try to clear them instead first. I'll, and I'll kill the gecko personally myself with my sword. I don't want to risk my bow not doing enough damage. You want to be careful about being ambushed by this guy. Oh. 
while you're going for the gecko. He'll be sneaking up on you and trying to kill you. See that, that tail split bomb me the time I needed to finish him off? Okay, now I can deal with the gecko. But first, I'm going to safely let my cloak run out because it's just about to, I feel like. Yep. I would have ran out while we were running up on him and he would have scurried off. Oh, I'm fat rolling. Yeah, we get a turn him. I don't want him going off that cliff. Alright, chunk of moonlight stone. Now let's grab this loot we weren't able to grab a minute ago. Some fresh spice. The loot between the tentacles here. The uh, creepy pulsating tentacles. And let me just give this area a quick sweep that I missed the loot tucked away in the crate. Alright, cool. Well, guys. Got pretty good so far, actually. As long as I don't die anywhere, and I don't jinx it by saying that, uh, we'll probably run under 50 minutes for the level clear. Which ain't bad, ain't bad. Alright, this, this crossbow gargoyle is being a pain in the ass. Are oh, you really gonna fly all the way down there, buddy? Oh, he lost sight of me. Ooh, I almost killed him. So he's flying all the way down there again. I don't even know if I can hurt him that far away. Ooh, I, nice. I think this guy's alive, too. Yeah. Yeah, they love flying all the way to the end of the bridge. Oh shit, they're congregating. I pulled two. I'm gonna try to kill one because I don't want to deal with two. Up close. They're, they're spiral rapiers, those giant long weapons they got. That look like fire pokers, those things hurt. I believe that was the last that was the last guard me for a little while, anyways. We get all these unknown warrior souls. We're stocking up on them. Another hero, too. Uh, I remember right there's something. Either just this way or both ways. So let's check out this way as well. <laughs> yeah, so it was just the other way. It was a story hero soul, so you guys definitely want to make sure you pick that up. I think those ones are worth like 4k. Gotta wait for this elevator. This one's a really slow one. Hasn't been a maintenance guy out here to fix it in like God knows when. Well, sometimes you're gonna make do with riding a rickety rust bucket. I think there's another guard royal right, wait right here to ambush us too, just like the last time. Yep. Oh, he decided to uh, take a swan dive though. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, every time. Glad I had the bow and stocked up on my arrows. Okay, guys. Now we got to repeat the same process as we did the last tower, and Hardy's gonna fall. And I can't wait for you guys to see that big splat. All right, this is the last guy. Should we do a countdown? Say goodbye to Mr. Hart. Mr. Hart, I hope you enjoy your last beat. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Cutscene. I 
almost felt sorry for it for a second. Until this part. Ugh. Creepy crawlies. Lots of creepy crawlies. Ooh, thanks for the loot, buddy. I don't, I don't really enjoy killing those guys because they're mostly harmless. Well, these ones we had to, but they do drop lotuses. And I would really love some more Widow's Lotuses. Eh. This stairway, I'm pretty sure we can never get up. But that other stairway on that other tower we were at, I forgot to mention, you can get up with the right world tendency. Alright, I think there's... Yeah, I knew there was another gargoyle here. That sneaky fuck. He was going to wait to ambush us. think either of those are alive. Now this time this guy is being a douche. <laughs> you can actually safely take a step forward and that's that loop and grab first right off the bat. Okay, well, we're back to the start of the level. Um, now everything's opened up. You can see the hearts out of the way in there now and uh, you can go all the way up those stairs all the way to the man eaters. Uh, but we won't be doing that this part. Ooh, and these guys are here everywhere now. Those, uh, demon babies. The heart's demon childs. Alright, so, we're gonna go down to the right where that heart was blocked earlier. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, uh, 30 seconds, please. Sorry. again. <laughs> uh, make sure we're going in the right direction here. Oof. Good thing I stopped where I did. Well, I didn't mean to send him off the edge, but uh, there's kind of proof that uh, the drops go with it. I, I happen to first notice that with the gargoyles, because uh, those guys fall off the cliff, the uh, edges of the cliffs a lot. Oh wait, I already looted over here, right? Yeah, wait, I'm gonna go under here. You told me that's not a phantom. It is, isn't it? You evaded me while I was on break. Yeah. Well, kinda got no choice but to fight this guy. Ugh. <sighs> 
I didn't want to fight him, but I'm glad we won. Should I bow to him? Since since he might still be watching? Yeah, he doesn't deserve a bow. The fuck? He probably wasn't expecting my claymore to hit so hard. Alright, so back to... <laughs> what we were doing. Oh, not you babies. You get you guys are keeping that phantom a secret while I was on you know on break. Hoping he was gonna secretly show up and slay me. Nobody realized Fox Eyes got eyes in the back of his head. Nah, no, I'm just messing with you guys anyways. Ooh, the Epi Rapier and the gold mask. You trade the gold mask. Ooh, there's the ring of avarice. Mission accomplished. Um, yeah, this place is like a loot smorgasbord down here. It's like a nice reward for this, clearing this hellhole. Uh, yeah, so what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, the gold mask you can trade the sparkly um, for a colorless demon soul. And you can trade the talisman god. Oh, wait, wait. Eh. No more tips. No more tips. Unless you really want them, then someone can just like private message me. Well, yeah, we'll wait till the proper time. When I'm trading with Sparkly again, I'll sh show you guys the full list that I haven't traded with her yet. But until then, I will try to stay tight loved. Alright, so, um, going back to the Archstone now would be a good idea, but there's like one more, well, there's a couple more pieces of loot. I'm going to clear all the way up to the Maneater's boss area, the boss fog itself. Because there's a couple more pieces of loot to grab up here. And I know it's going to make our video run almost an hour, but uh, you guys want to see all the loots that you can get. Trust me. Man, that, that invader got my heart pounding, though. Still feel the, uh, the adrenaline pump in... Uh, in like my jugular. All right, so yeah, I, I uh, was spacing out, but yeah, I grabbed that loot down there. You wanna? It's kind of like slightly hidden out of the way. Oh, if I can catch this guy while he's turned around, I'm I'm gonna be happy. Come on, come on. Why not? Wait, oh shit! I forgot to. Oh no 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 no. No, 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 no. Alright. Let's try this again. Okay, hopefully he cannot one shot. Okay, he can't. Good. As long as I kill him. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh, and I'm fat rolling. Ah, <sighs> so that... That went extremely bad. <laughs> Almost died. Damn Black Phantom squid faces. Oh shit, he almost killed me again. Please turn around. Oh, I missed. Turn your squidly ass back around. Oh, I missed it. All right, you guys can tell bows are not my specialty. I will freely admit it. <laughs> Fucking demon souls, man. Brutally tries to kill you at every turn. And like, if we decide to continue on to the man eater boss up here, might definitely die.
But yeah, the last two items you want to make sure you grab is on this side of the boss fog. And on the other side of the boss fog. There's the main eater boss fog. Only adds are friends, huh? Right? Good point. Summoning uh, phantoms for co-op. Even though each phantom like doubles the boss's health, it still makes it a lot easier. All right, eight age spice. That is like a treasure trove of it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the uh, uh, episode of World 3-2 of Latria. And next episode, stay tuned um, for where to next. Maybe the Man Eaters? Maybe not. Who knows? We'll leave it up in the air as always.